the first presentation uh, is related to the completion of the GIGOS focus areas. Do you want to say something? You are <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, the completion of the GIGOS focus area unified high system. Um, we know uh, this is on the physical high systems, and we know that the existing high systems um, uh, are usually defined uh, referring to the mean sea level determined at and arbitrarily selected tight gauge. And they was they were real, realized by the means of uh, spirit leveling or geodetic leveling over very uh, long uh, times uh, periods of time, and in general they they are not standardized. So one uh, main topic of geodesy was uh, the determination of a global unified height system, and the objective of this uh, global a unified height system was uh, to refer all existing physical heights to one and the same equipotential surface. Uh, this topic uh, was uh, started to be studied uh, in the frame of the IEG already in the 1980s. And you can see here uh, a selection of publications handling with this topic. Um, and as this topic was really a, a hot topic in, in geodesy when, when GIGOS starts, uh, one of the priorities for GIGOS was the establishment of, uh, uh, or the, the introduction of uh, international standard for the precise determination of physical heights. And then this standard was called the International Height Reference System. The realization of the high system is the international high reference frame. Um, as uh, any reference system of any standard uh, in geodesy, uh, we need the definition. The definition provides the conventions supporting uh, the, the, the reference system. Then we need the realization, and the realization is given by a physical realization given by a reference network uh, providing um, accessibility, a tangible accessibility to the, to the system. And we also need a mathematical realization, and this is given by the reference coordinates at the reference stations following the definition of the system. Then uh, we need a set of standards, conventions, and procedures that guarantee that the mathematical realizations of the reference coordinates at the reference stations strictly follow the definition given in the system. If the system says the coordinates should be given in the mean tight system, for instance, the coordinates should be given in the mean tight system and not on the other uh, tight system. Uh, we also need uh, the continuing maintenance of the of the complete system. So if new uh, theoretical developments um, are um, developed, the definition should be accordingly updated. If we have new stations, the realization should be accordingly updated. And if we have new uh, methods to determine physical heights or potential differences, the standards, conventions, and procedures should be accordingly, accordingly updated. And the, we need then uh, the people doing the work because, because nothing happens if nobody works on that. So this is, uh, these are the, the main elements of this, this um, international standard for the height systems. I don't want to go into the details, uh, but the GIGOS focus area unified system was installed in 2010, and each of these components were, let's say, um, developed according to the 4GR term of the IEG. The definition was extensively uh, worked uh, 2012 to 2015. Uh, on the realization, we performed different simulations, different computations, different experiments, um, uh, and based on those experiments between 2015 and 2019, 
we could define a cookbook for the realization of the IHRS. Uh, then, based on this cookbook, we could compute the reference, conf uh, reference coordinates for the, for the global reference network in the last four years. And from now on, um, we, we will install an operational infrastructure that takes care of the uh, high reference frame and this focus area is decommissioned. So this is the last time that we will talk about unified high system in GIGOS. Uh, very quickly, this is the, the definition of the reference system. Uh, it's, it's a potential bay high system. The coordinates are potential differences. So our, our main, main um, quantity are the potential values. So we have to work um, with uh, the determination of the potential at the coordina coordinates given by the ITRF. With this, I, I only ju just want to say that the International High Reference System is um, the combination of a geometrical component given by the positions of the ITRF and a physical component given by the determination of potential values. If we know these uh, potential differences uh, using uh, um, uh, ellipsoid, uh, reference ellipsoid, we can get easily uh, physical heights. Uh, this is the global reference network. This is the core network for the high reference frame. That they are about 170 stations. And for these stations, we computed the reference coordinates. And the idea is that this global reference network is also densified at regional and national levels, like we do with the ITRF. We, are, we have the global network for the ITRF, but we, we have also the regional reference frames, and the regional reference frames provide uh, the basis for national reference frames. Um, we have to ensure that uh, the, the IGRF is, is maintained and further developed. We need for that uh, reference uh, network um, coordination that interact with the, old, with the other reference networks. We have the maintenance of the conventions in accordance with the other uh, already existing conventions in the, in the um, IEG. Uh, we need um, analysis centers to, to compute the potential values at the different regions of the, over the world. The input data may be provided by already existing IEG services, but also by the regional and national data banks. Uh, once uh, the computation is performed, we expect it or we have four, uh, two main products, potential values vertical data unification parameters. I don't want to go into the details, but we have also byproducts that could be used to improve the, the data existing in the other uh, gravity field services. Uh, once we collect the solutions from the different analysis centers, we have to perform an, a validation and quality assessment and the official publication of the IGRF solution. Um, the byproducts should contribute to the other existing uh, gravity field related services, and then this all should be provided to the user, to the users. Um, in gray, you can see uh, what is uh, provided by the existing uh, services in the IAG and uh, the blue boxes show the responsibilities of the new organizational element for the uh, IHRF. We decided to call this uh, organizational element coordination center because it is much more than a product center. So it's, it's really a, a coordination a coordination activity to be to be done there, to be done there. Um, and here you can see the elements of the high system. So we, we have the definition, the standards, the realization. We need maintenance for the three, for these three main elements, and we have, or well, we need the, the human and uh, organizational resources to ensure 
these four things. Um, therefore, we define the coordination center be composed uh, of five elements, one coordination for the conventions and standard, one coordination for the reference network, one coordination for the associates analysis centers, um, one uh, mm, coordination for the combination of these results, and the, the complete management or the high level man management should be done by the coordination center who should also publish the final solution of the IGRF. We have the field solution for, for this reference frame. It refers to, to the old, uh, to the previous ITRF. And our idea is to compute solutions synchronized with the release of new ITRF solutions. So we, we estimate uh, a next solution in, in, four, in five, four or five years or, or so. Uh, but for the moment, we have the field solution, we have the structure of, uh, for, uh, for the maintenance of the IGRF. This coordination center will uh, directly depend on the Central Bureau of the International Gravity Field Service. Uh, so it means um, our colleague, uh, George Bergos from Thessaloniki will, will take care of, of these elements. That's all. Questions? No. Okay. Okay. No questions? Ah. I, I have a question about um, update rates. How, how often? Will the IHRF getting updated? Uh, synchronized with the ITRF. Synchronized with the ITRF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, because uh, with a new release of the ITRF, we get totally new uh, mm -hmm. geometric coordinates. And I think five years is uh, a good time enough to have more uh, gravity observations and better topographic models for the determination mm -hmm. of the potentials. I think that's a good idea to to be in parallel. Yeah, yeah, the consistency, yeah. Yeah. 